the day that we met. <laughs> Hello, Crab. Hello, Henry. How are you today, Crab? I feel fantastic, Henry. I just adore living here beside the sea. Every day is like a holiday. I love going to the beach on my holidays. But what's that on your back? That's my home, Henry. Hermit crabs like me carry old seashells on our backs. We use them to keep ourselves safe. Then, as we grow, we have to find bigger and bigger shells to live in. Wow, that's so interesting, crab. But, hmm, that doesn't look much like a shell to me. In fact, it looks a bit like a baked bean can. That's because it is a baked bean can, Henry. Unfortunately, sometimes people who visit the beach don't pick up the litter. Or it washes in from far, far out at sea. Oh dear. That is a pity, Crab. Mm. Maybe if someone cleaned the beach up, we'd be able to find you a new shell. I'm sure we would, Henry. But we'd need an environmentalist to help clean up a beach this messy. An environmentalist? What's that, Crab? An environmentalist is someone who specialises in protecting the environment. You organise volunteers. Clean up litter. And help out animals in need. If only there was one around. That gives me a great idea, Crab. I could become an environmentalist and we could clean up the beach and find you a brand new seashell. That's a great idea, Henry. OK, Crab, where should we start? How about we pick up some of this litter? Good thinking, Crab. Let's get to work. Oh, hello, Seal. How are you today? <laughs> oh, no, Henry. It looks like Seal has something stuck around her nose. We should do something quick. Will do, Crab. Will do. How's that, Seal? Oh, thank you ever so much, Henry. Phew, I'd almost lost the feeling of my whiskers. You're welcome, Seal. Have a nice day. Henry, there's bound to be lots of other animals out there that need our help. We should check the rest of the beach. Quick! Great idea, Crab. Litter picker, rubbish bag. I'm leaving the rest of the litter up to you. Your sure thing, thing, Henry. Come on, Crab. We've got animals to save. There you go, Seagull. Thanks, Henry. There you go, Turtle. Thanks, Henry. There you go, Octopus. Thanks, Henry. You're doing a fantastic job, Henry. The beach looks amazing and we've helped so many animals. It sure does, Crab. And now our work here is done. The only thing left to do is find you a new seashell. Help! Help! Sounds like someone's in trouble, Henry. And it's coming from the seashore. I think you're right, Crab. We better check it out. Help! Help! Over here! Oh no, Henry. It looks like Baby Dolphin has gotten tangled in an old fishing net. What are we going to do? This sounds like a job for Henry the Environmentalist. Don't worry, Dolphin. We'll have you free in no time. Henry, we cleaned up the beach and freed Baby Dolphin. The beach has never looked so good. You make a great environmentalist. Thanks, Crab. But we still need to find you a new shell. Look over there, Crab. Oh, thank you so much, Henry. It fits perfectly. You're welcome, Crab. Now, who wants to build a sandcastle? Hooray! Hey, Henry met a crab. He laughed a lot. That's my mum calling me, Crab. I best be off. It was really nice meeting you. The pleasure was all mine, Henry. And thanks for helping me clean up the beach, rescue all the animals, and finding me a lovely new shell to call my home. You're welcome. Have a nice day. Bye-bye, Henry. Bye-bye. I'm coming, Mum. The day Henry met. A teapot. Ah, 
hello, Henry, my little sugar lump. How are you today, Teapot? Oh, I'm wonderful, thanks, Henry. I love being at the car boat sale. You never know what you might come across next. What are you looking for today? I'm looking for a lovely tea set for my mum because she's having a tea party today. Oh, me and my tea set used to throw the most fabulous tea parties. We would have biscuits, sandwiches and tea cakes with jam and cream. In that case, would you like to join us? Oh, I'd love to, Henry, but I'm all on my lonesome now and a teapot isn't much use without their tea set. Oh, dear. What happened to the rest of your tea set, teapot? They were all taken to an antique shop, Henry. You see, antiques like me are very valuable, but I was left behind by accident. That's terrible news, Teapot. But, um, what's an antique? An antique is something that is over 100 years old. It's usually collectible and very, very rare. Oh, if only there was an antique dealer around, then we could go to the shop and find my missing tea set. That gives me a great idea, Teapot. I could become an antique dealer and we can find the rest of your tea set and have a tea party together. That's a great idea, Henry. OK, Teapot. First things first, what exactly is a tea set? Oh, <laughs> well, Henry, a tea set has everything we need for the perfect tea party. There's cups and saucers for our tea, a little jug for our milk, a bowl for the sugar, and for the cake and bickies, there's a tea tray. Oh, did someone say tea tray? Tea tray, there you are. It's so good to see you again. Oh, hello. Um, who are you again? It's me, Teapot, from the tea set. Don't you remember? Oh, yes, yes, of course. How, how forgetful of me. Hello, tea tray. We're having a tea party today, but we're still looking for the rest of the tea set. Have you seen them? The rest of the tea set? Hmm. Yes, yes. I put them in a super special place so they won't get lost. Ah, that's great news. Where did you put them? Put what? The tea set. Oh, right. Yes, yes, the tea set. No, no, I can't remember. But I'm sure they're in the antique shop somewhere. Bless my tea bags, Henry. The antique shop is a lot bigger than I thought it would be. It's going to take us all day to find them. Don't worry, Teapot. I'm sure if we ask some of the other antiques for help, we'll find them in no time. Hello, suit of armor. Have you seen an antique tea set around? King Henry, my humblest apologies, Your Majesty, for I must confess, I have not. Hello, clock. Have you seen an antique tea set around here at all? Sorry, Henry. I haven't had time to look for the tea set, I'm afraid. Hello, plastic skeleton. Have you seen a tea set in the antique shop today? I haven't, I'm afraid, Henry. I've been having enough trouble keeping my head on my shoulders. We've looked everywhere and no one has seen my missing tea set. Oh, don't worry, Teapot. I'm sure things will start looking up soon. Looking up? That's it. We need to look up. Hello, Henry. Oh, Henry, they're up ever so high. I think we might need some help to get them down in one piece. Oh, did someone say they needed help? Oh. Oh. Not again. Oh. The tea set is going to get smashed to pieces, Henry. What are we going to do? Don't worry, Teapot. I think I have an idea. Whoa. Thanks, Henry! Well done, Henry. You found the tea set and managed to catch them all safely. Thanks, Teapot. Now, who's ready for a tea party? Yay! The day Henry met a teapot, he laughed along with everyone. The day That's my mum calling me Teapot. We best be off. We don't want to be late for my mum's tea party. You're right, Henry. And thanks ever so much for helping me find the rest of my tea set. You're welcome, Teapot. Next stop, my mum's tea party. Yay! The day Henry met a caterpillar. Nine, eight, seven. Hello, Caterpillar. Hello, Henry. Six. How are you today, Caterpillar? Five, four, 
I'm great, thanks Henry. It's another lovely day in the back garden, surrounded by all these delicious, tasty leaves. Hum, 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 hum. Caterpillar? Mm -hmm. Yes, Henry? Why are you counting backwards? I'm playing hide and seek with my brother, and it's my turn to seek. He doesn't stand a chance. Three, two, one, coming. Ready or not? Maybe he's inside this flower. Sorry, just collecting some nectar. Maybe he's under this stone. Oh, hello, caterpillar. Uh, I'm just going um, um, this way. Yum, yum, Maybe yum. he's behind this beetle. Oh, nothing behind me, I'm afraid. I can't see him anywhere. Maybe finding him is going to be harder than I thought. I love playing hide and seek, caterpillar. Maybe I could help you look. Thanks for the offer, Henry, but you're much, much too big. You might accidentally squash something. Oh, if only you were the size of an insect, Henry. Then you'd be able to help. That gives me a great idea, Caterpillar. I could shrink down to the size of an insect and we can find your brother together. That's a great idea, Henry. Okay, Caterpillar, let's start looking. <coughs> Hello, Spider. Uh, hello, Henry. Hello, Caterpillar. Have you come to join me for a spot of exercise this morning? Oh, that sounds lovely, Spider. But we're actually in the middle of playing hide-and-seek. We're looking for Caterpillar's brother. Have you seen him? He's green, like me. He has lots of legs, like me. Oh, oh, and he loves eating leaves. Hom, hom, yum, yum. Like me. I haven't, I'm afraid. But there are some really good hiding places over there. Oh, great. Yum, yum. Thanks, Spider. Oh, thanks. Oh, and there's some great hiding places over there, too. Oh. And down there, and up there, round there. Oh, and don't forget in there. Come to think of it, he could be hiding anywhere. Oh, no, Henry. Spider's right. My brother could be anywhere. What are we going to do? Don't worry, Caterpillar. I'm sure we'll find him if we just keep looking. All we need to do is look for something that's green, has lots of legs, and loves eating leaves. Look, there's something green. Oh, it's just a green fly. Hello, Henry. <laughs> Look, there's something with lots and lots and lots of legs. Oh, that's just a millipede. Hello, Henry. Wait, I can hear something munching leaves. Oh, it's just a snail. Hello, Henry. We're not having much luck playing hide and seek today, are we, Henry? And to make matters worse, it looks like it's gonna rain. Don't worry, Caterpillar. A little bit of rain never hurt anyone. Unless you're the size of an insect, run away! <laughs> Mommy! Caterpillar, where have you been all day? We've been playing hide and seek, and we're looking for... Your brother? That's right, but we can't find him anywhere, Butterfly. You're closer than you think, Henry. In fact, he's right above your head. Wow! He's turned into a chrysalis, Henry. No wonder we couldn't find him. What's a chrysalis? Well, Henry, a chrysalis is the final stage before a caterpillar turns into a grown-up. They eat and eat and eat, go asleep, and a few days later, they emerge a beautiful butterfly. Wow, that's amazing! Caterpillar, that means you're going to be a butterfly soon. I know, Henry. I can't wait! Well, you best get to bed, because the sooner you fall asleep, the sooner you'll be a butterfly. Yay! Yay! Henry met a caterpillar. He laughed along with everyone. my mum calling me caterpillar or should I say butterfly I best be off it was really nice meeting you the pleasure was all mine Henry and thanks for helping me find my brother you're welcome have a nice day bye bye, bye, -bye Henry bye bye I'm coming mom the day Henry met a bowling ball Oh, hello, 
Henry. How are you today, bowling ball? Oh, can't complain, Henry. I'm just enjoying another lovely, relaxing day in the attic with all my old friends. Hello, Henry. Hello, everyone. Living in the attic must be lots of fun, bowling ball. Oh, it is, Henry. We have lots of things to do here to keep ourselves busy. Sometimes we go on long walks around the attic. Ah, that was lovely. Then we like to feed the ducks. Hello, rubber duckies. <coughs> then it's time to gather around a lovely warm fire and tell stories about the good old days. Umbrellas these days don't know how good they've got it. Back in my day, raindrops, big as ours as they were. Oh, sure, that's nothing. Back in my day, I remember, it was so cold, it froze time itself. I remember when I was a young bowling ball. I won more trophies than you had hot dinners, Henry. But there was one trophy I didn't win. The super duper bestest bowling ball in the entire universe trophy. Why is that bowling ball? One pin, Henry. I couldn't knock over that one last pin. Oh, if only there was a bowler around, I could finally win that trophy. That gives me a great idea, bowling ball. I could become a bowler, and we can win the super duper bestest bowling ball in the entire universe trophy together. Oh, that's a great idea, Henry. Bing bong. Calling all bowlers. The competition is about to start. First up, Henry and bowling ball. Bing bong. Oh, that's us, Henry. Oh, we better get to the lane. We don't want to be late. OK, bowling ball. Let's go. Bowling ball, I probably should have mentioned this earlier, but I've never actually been bowling before. Oh, it's easy, Henry. All you do is pick me up using these three holes, then we walk up to the line, bend your knees, roll me down the lane, and try and knock down as many pins as you can. Oh, but be careful, I'm very heavy. OK, bowling ball, here goes. Oh, yeah. oh. Well done, Henry. You got a strike. You knocked down all ten pins in one shot. That's great. Does that mean we've won the trophy? Not quite yet, Henry. We still have lots of bowling left to do. Well then, there's no time to waste. Let's get bowling. Ready, bowling lane? Ready, Henry. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, ball return. <laughs> You're welcome, Henry. Ready, pins? Ready, Henry! <laughs> <laughs> You're doing great, Henry. All we have to do is knock down these last ten pins and we've won the trophy. But don't worry, we've got two shots to do it. OK, bowling ball, here goes. <laughs> There's still one pin left to knock down. It's OK, bowling ball. We still have one shot left. I know, Henry, but when it comes to the last pin, I get so nervous. Oh, I always miss. Leave it to me, bowling ball. Whoa! Phew, that was a close one. Nearly fell over. We did it, Henry! Whoa! We knocked down all the pins, which means we won the super duper bestest bowling ball in the entire universe trophy! We certainly did, bowling ball, but best of all, we all had lots of fun. Now, who wants another game? Yeah! That's my mum calling me bowling ball. I best be off. It was really nice meeting you. Oh, the pleasure was all mine, Henry. And thanks for helping me win the super duper bestest bowling ball in the entire universe trophy. You're welcome. Have a nice day. Bye bye, Henry. Bye bye. I'm coming, mum. The day Henry met. Apple time. <laughs> <laughs> Bowtie. Hello, Henry, dear boy. How are you today, Bowtie? I feel fantastic, Henry. 
I'm just about to be cleaned and pressed. Here we go! <laughs> Ooh. Ah. Are you okay, Bowtie? You look a little shaken. I'm okay, Henry. A little shaken, but not stirred. It must be so much fun being a bow tie. I bet you get invited to all the best parties. Oh, the life of a bow tie isn't as glamorous as everyone thinks, Henry. If I'm not getting covered in cake crumbs at a wedding, I'm getting covered in makeup at a high school prom. Sorry to hear that, bow tie. Just once, I'd love to go on a super exciting mission with a special agent, so instead of getting dirty, I can save the day. If only there was a suave and sophisticated special agent around to help. That gives me a great idea, Bowtie. I could become a suave and sophisticated special agent, and together we can go on a super exciting mission and save the day. That's a great idea, Henry. Agent Henry, if I could have your attention, please. Evil Pussycat has stolen the crown jewels and has locked them up in his super secret island base of doom. Your mission, if you choose to accept it, is to reach the island Break into the vault and retrieve the crown jewels. We, we accept. accept! How exciting! Wahoo! Huh. Hello, Agent Crush Test Dummy. Glad you could finally make it, Agent Henry. Now, you can't go on a super exciting mission without some super exciting gadgets. Oh, I love gadgets. Follow me. Here, we have a regular-looking pair of shoes, but if I click the heels, they turn into rocket skis! <laughs> Smashing! Next, this may look like a normal wristwatch, but if I press the button, a laser beam shoots out! Hot stuff! And finally, my favourite, your special agent car, complete with ejector seat. He always was a bit of a high flyer. And what does this gadget do, Agent Crash Test Dummy? Does it fire rockets? Does it freeze time? Does it turn into an ice cream sundae machine? That's just a TV remote, Agent Henry. I've been looking for that everywhere. Warning. 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 Agent Henry, that's the alarm to start the super exciting mission. Well, there's no time to waste then, Bowtie. Special Agent Henry to the rescue! Bowtie, the crown jewels are just up ahead. Be careful, Agent Henry. Anyone for popcorn? Popcorn? Special Agent Henry, what are you doing here? I've come to rescue you from the claws of Evil Pussycat. Evil Pussycat? He's not evil. He's the nicest cat we know. That's why he invited us over for movie night. Movie night? How splendid. I'd ask you to join us, Agent Henry, but we can't find the TV remote anywhere. Movie night is ruined. Don't worry, Pussycat. I think I have an idea. You did it, Henry! All in a day's work for Special Agent Henry! Yay! my mum calling me Bowtie. I best be off. It was really nice meeting you. The pleasure was all mine, Henry. And thanks for helping me go on a super exciting mission. You're welcome. Have a nice night. Bye-bye, Henry. Bye-bye. I'm coming, Mum. The day Henry met... Apple! <laughs> Bus. Hello, Henry. How are you today, Bus? I feel fantastic, Henry. You can't beat the life of a tour bus. Every day I cruise around the city streets of London, taking in the sights, the sounds, the culture. 
It's the best city in the world! Hello, Henry! Hello, everyone! <laughs> so then, Henry, what brings you to the city today? Are you planning on taking in the sights? I sure am, bus. I have my guidebook, my packed lunch. All I need now is my bus ticket. One child's ticket, please. Oh, I'd love to sell you a ticket, Henry, but it won't be much use, I'm afraid. My bus driver's train has been delayed and they can't get to work and I've had to cancel the sightseeing tour. That's terrible news. Did someone just say the tour has been cancelled? But we've been looking forward to this for weeks. And we've travelled such a long way. Crikey, Henry, look at that queue. It looks like half of London wants a bus tour. Oh, if only there was another bus driver around to help. That gives me a great idea, bus. I could become a bus driver and we could take those tourists on the best sightseeing tour ever. That's a great idea, Henry. OK, everyone, take your seats, please. It's almost time to depart. All aboard! Thank you. Thank you. Good to see you. Thanks for coming. Don't forget to pop your seatbelt on, Henry. Will do, bus. Will do. Whee! Oh. Hello, passengers. Welcome to Henry's Super Duper London Sightseeing Tour Bus. First stop, the London Eye. Everybody ready? Ready, Henry! Then let's go! Hello, London Eye. Hello, Henry. The London Eye is as tall as 45 elephants and can hold up to 800 passengers. Hello, Elizabeth Tower. Oh, hello, Henry. The Elizabeth Tower is more commonly referred to as Big Ben. However, this is actually the nickname of the great bell that sits inside, which chimes every hour on the hour. Ah. Hello, Buckingham Palace. Hello, Henry. Buckingham Palace is home to the Queen of the United Kingdom. If the Royal Standard is flying, it means the Queen is home. Ooh. You're doing a brilliant job, Henry. There's just one last stop on the tour. The tallest building in the United Kingdom, the Shard. OK, everyone. Cameras at the ready. Next stop, the Shard. Oh, no, Henry. Look at this fog. I know, bus. I can barely see a thing. What are we going to do, Henry? At this rate, we wouldn't find the Shard, even if we were right outside. We can't end the tour without seeing the final attraction. Hmm. Don't worry, bus. I think I have an idea. What are we doing here, Henry? We've driven all the way out of the city. You said the Shard was the tallest building in the United Kingdom. Well, take a look over there. Hello. There it is, Henry. The Shard! And look, the fog is starting to clear. We can see the whole of London from here. This is the best sightseeing tour ever! Yay! It's all in a day's work for Henry the bus driver. The day Henry met the bus, he laughed along with everyone. The day Henry met the bus, he made lots of friends and had so much fun. That's my mum calling me, bus. I best be off. It was really nice meeting you. The pleasure was all mine, Henry. And thanks for helping me put on the best sightseeing tour ever. You're welcome. Have a nice day, everyone. Bye-bye, Henry. Bye-bye. I'm coming, mum. The day Henry met. After four. <laughs> Hello, surfboard. G'day, Henry. How are you today, surfboard? Can't complain, Henry, mate. The sun is shining, the waves are lapping at the shore, and I can feel the sand tickling my fin. It's another totally bonzer day at the beach. But, surfboard, shouldn't you be in the water and not sat here on the beach? No, Henry, mate. I'm keeping my eyes peeled for the perfect wave. Like that one over there. Hello! That's right, Henry. Surf's up. Wow, 
surfboards. That was the biggest wave I've ever seen. If you think that was a big wave, Henry, just wait till you see the super duper giant wave of doom. The super duper giant wave of doom? That's right, Henry. It's the tallest, fastest, splashiest, waviest wave of them all, and no one's ever been able to ride it before. I'm sure you could ride it, surfboard. I'd love to, Henry, but my surfer had to go home and change because he got sand in his underpants. And I'd never be able to tackle a wave like that on my own. Oh, if only there was another surfer around to help. That gives me a great idea, surfboard. I could become a surfer and we can go surfing together and ride the super duper giant wave of doom. It's a great idea, Henry. Okay, surfboard. I probably should have mentioned this earlier. I don't actually know how to surf, but I am a great swimmer. No worries, Henry, mate. First things first, you need to give me a good wax. I generally stop your feet slipping off when they get wet, little dude. Next, you need to lay down and paddle into a wave. Like this? That's it, Henry, mate. Then once you see the wave coming, you hop up onto your feet and ride it all the way back to the beach. Huh? Henry, you little beauty. We'll be surfing the super duper giant wave of doom in no time. And look, I think I see another wave coming now. Well, there's no time to waste then, surfboard. Let's go. Hello, dolphin. Hello, Henry. Hello, seagull. Hello, Henry. Ah. Hello, turtle. Hello, Henry. This is it, Henry, mate. All we need to do now is wait for the super duper giant wave of doom to arrive. Look, surfboard. I think I see it. Cool. You're right, Henry. Three, two, one, pedal! Okay, Henry, mate. Now hop up. We'll do, surfboard. We'll do. Here we go. Woohoo! surfboard. I can't believe we got to surf the super duper giant wave of doom. I don't think that was the super duper giant wave of doom. That's the super duper giant wave of doom. <laughs> surf for your lives. You can do it, Henry. The super duper giant wave of doom. We sure did, surfboard. But I couldn't have done it without your help. Now, who fancies a Barbie on the beach? Yay! Henry met a surfboard. He laughed along with everyone. The day Henry met a surfboard. He made lots of friends and had so much fun. That's my mum calling me surfboard. I best be off. It was really nice meeting you. The pleasure was all mine, Henry mate. And thanks for helping me surf the super duper giant wave of doom. You're welcome. Have a nice day. See you later, Henry. Bye bye. I'm coming, mum. The day. Hey, Henry, dude. How are you today, BMX? I feel totally awesome, Henry. I love being in the bike shop because I get to practice my sweet BMX tricks in front of all my two-wheel friends. Hello, Henry. Hello, everyone. That sure sounds like a lot of fun, BMX. What tricks have you been working on lately? I'm glad you asked, Henry. First up, we have the bar spin. Whoa! Next, we have the bunny hop. Yeah! And last but not least, my personal favorite, the classic wheelie! Yay! Wow, BMX. They were the best tricks I've ever seen. 
Being a BMX bike must be amazing. It totally is, Henry. But you know, sometimes, instead of pulling sweet tricks all the time, I like to try something a little different. I've always wanted to take part in the Tour de France, Henry, just like a pro racing bike. Bonjour, Henri. Bonjour, pro racing bike. What's the Tour de France then, BMX? The Tour de France is one of the oldest, most prestigious cycling races in the whole world, Henry. Competitors race through the streets, countryside, and mountains of France, finishing in the nation's capital, Paris. Why don't you give it a go? I'd love to, Henry, but look at me. I have little stubby wheels, a chunky little frame, and no gears. I wouldn't even get up the first hill without a cyclist to help me pump my pedals. If only there was one around. That gives me a great idea, BMX. I could become a cyclist, and we could take part in the Tour de France together. That's a great idea, Henry, dude. Henri, BMX, I'm so glad you could make it. Are you both ready for the big race? We sure are, pro racing bike. I have my cycling shorts, my water bottle, and my helmet. Très bien, Henri. Very good. See you at the finish line. Quick, Henry. It's almost time for us to start. Hop on. Ready, steady, go, go, go. Let's go. Hello, vineyards. Bonjour, Henri. Hello, Alps. Bonjour, Henri. Hello, Eiffel Tower. Bonjour, Henri. What a race. You are truly a worthy competitor. Race you to the top. Come on, Henry. Let's go. We're almost at the top, Henry, dude. Sacre bleu. I cannot go on much longer. We did it, Henry. Next stop, the finish line. Wahoo! We're doing great, Henry. We're in first place. Absolutely nothing can stop us now. Uh-oh. Henry, dude, I've got a puncture. Quick, get out the puncture repair kit. Puncture repair kit? I didn't know we needed one of those. Oh, no, Henry, this is a disaster. We'll never finish the race together with just one good wheel. What are we gonna do? Hmm. Don't worry, BMX. I think I have an idea. Woohoo! Great thinking, Henry, dude. Not only did we finish the race, we did it in style. We sure did, BMX. But we couldn't have done it without your amazing tricks. Yay! my mom calling me BMX. I best be off. It was really nice meeting you. The pleasure was all mine, Henry, dude. And thanks for helping me take part in the Tour de France. You're welcome. Have a nice day. Bye-bye, Henry. Bye-bye. I'm coming, Mom. The day Hello, helicopter. Hello, Henry. How are you today, helicopter? I feel marvelous, Henry. It's the day of the big air show, and there's so much to see. We have jets. Hello, Henry. Blimps. Hello, Henry. And biplanes. Oh, telly ho, Henry. Hello, everyone. And what have you been up to, helicopter? I've been busy taking people on helicopter rides up, down, and all around the airfield. That sounds like a lot of fun, helicopter. But how do you fly when you don't have any wings? Oh, great question, Henry. I use my rotor blades to fly. They whiz around super fast, and as the air passes over each blade, it's forced downwards, which lifts me high into the air. Woohoo! Wow, that's amazing, Helicopter. It sounds like you have the best job in the world. 
I do, Henry. But I have always wondered what it would be like to be a rescue helicopter, so instead of helping people have fun, I could help them in their time of need. Woo! Woo! People in need! People in need! We need a rescue helicopter, quick! Looks like this is your chance, helicopter. Oh, I'd love to, Henry. But my helicopter pilot has gone on a hot air balloon ride and won't be back for ages. Oh, if only there was another one around to help. That gives me a great idea, helicopter. I could become a helicopter pilot and we could rescue people together. That's a great idea, Henry. Henry, helicopter, there's trouble down at the farm. Go, go, go. Henry, it's our first mission. Prepare for takeoff. We'll do, helicopter. We'll do. Whee! Henry and helicopter to the rescue. Ooh. Hello, fancy car. Are you all right? I'm afraid not, Henry. I was on my way to a wedding when I got lost, and now I'm stuck in the mud. <laughs> Terribly sorry. Don't worry, the mud does wonders for my skin. Hold tight, fancy car. We'll have you back on the road in no time. Ready, helicopter? Ready, Henry. Oh, thank you kindly, Henry. Now, I must be off. Don't want to miss the cake. Henry, helicopter, there's some people who need rescuing. An overturned lorry, a submarine stuck in a dock, and a donkey trapped out at sea. Go, go, go! There's no time to waste. Let's go! Hello, articulated lorry. Whoa, thanks, Henry. Hello, submarine. Thanks, Henry. Hello, donkey. Cheers! Careful, Henry. We're flying straight into a snowstorm. He's up here, Henry, old boy. <laughs> Quick, Henry. Hold on, rucksack. We'll have you safe in no time. Steady, Henry. Left a bit. Right a bit. You're almost there. And jump! So much for rescuing me. That's the last time I climb a mountain on my own. You're welcome, Rucksack. It's all in a day's work for Henry the helicopter pilot and his amazing rescue helicopter. Yay! The day Henry met a helicopter, he laughed along with everyone. The day Henry met a helicopter, he made lots of friends and had so much fun. That's my mum calling me helicopter. I best be off. It was really nice meeting you. The pleasure was all mine, Henry, and thanks for helping me become a rescue helicopter. You're welcome. Have a nice day. Bye bye, Henry. Bye bye. I'm coming, Mum. The day Henry met. Ah, <laughs> Submarine. Hello, Henry. How are you today, Submarine? I feel fantastic, Henry. It's another beautiful day at the harbour, and it's almost time for my annual clean. Bucket! And sponge! At your service! There, all done. Ah, much better. What do you think, Henry? Oh, yes. Very shiny, Submarine. But what is it you do exactly? Are you like a boat? I'm a lot like a boat, Henry, but instead of sailing across the water, I travel under the water. Wow, that's amazing, Submarine. I love going underwater when I wear my goggles. You must have seen some amazing things. Oh, you'd think so, Henry, but unfortunately, all I've seen lately is smelly old tyres, slimy old bottles and rusty old shopping trolleys. Hello, Henry! Hello, everyone. To make matters worse, there's one place I've always wanted to visit but never had a chance. The Great Barrier Reef in Australia. The Great Barrier Reef? What's that, submarine? 
The Great Barrier Reef is the jewel of the ocean, Henry. It's home to the most beautiful and spectacular sea life in the old world. That sounds amazing, submarine. Why don't you go? Oh, I'd love to, Henry. But my submarine captain burnt his tongue on some fish and chips and had to go home. If only there was another one around. That gives me a great idea, submarine. I could become a submarine captain and we could travel under the sea and visit the Great Barrier Reef. That's a great idea, Henry. OK, submarine. First things first. Which way to the Great Barrier Reef? I'm not sure, Henry. Maybe we could dive down and ask for directions. Great idea, submarine. Next up, the Great Barrier Reef. Hello, swordfish. Do you know the way to the Great Barrier Reef? I don't, I'm afraid, but I do know the way to the dartboard. Yeah! 180! Hello, school of fish. Do any of you know the way to the Great Barrier Reef? I'm afraid not, submarine, but we do know our one, two, threes, don't we, children? Yes, <laughs> Hello, jellyfish. Do any of you know where the Great Barrier Reef is? We don't, sorry, Henry. But why don't you stop and watch our light show? Ready, guys? What are we going to do, Henry? We must have searched the all ocean and we still haven't found the Great Barrier Reef. Maybe we should check the periscope. Good thinking, Henry. See anything, Henry? Hmm, I can see a fish, a fish, fish, a giant scary squid coming right for us, another fish. A giant scary squid coming right for us. Ah! Go, go, go! Bye bye jellyfish, oh. bye bye school of fish, bye bye, bye, -bye swordfish. Oh, Quick Henry, he's gaining on us. Let's hide behind this rock. Good thinking Henry, there's no way he'll find us here. Ah! Ah! Don't be frightened. I was just talking to my friends, the jellyfish, and they were saying you were looking for the Great Barrier Reef. That's right, giant scary squid. Do you know the way? I sure do, Henry. In fact, it's right here. Wow, that's amazing. Thanks, giant scary squid. Henry, it's even more wondrous and beautiful than I could ever have imagined. It sure is, submarine. It truly is the jewel of the ocean. Yay! The day Henry met a submarine, he laughed along with everyone. The day Henry met a submarine, he made lots of friends and had so much fun. Henry! That's my mum calling me submarine. I best be off. It was really nice meeting you. The pleasure was all mine, Henry, and thanks for helping me visit the Great Barrier Reef. You're welcome. Have a nice day. Bye-bye, Henry. Bye-bye. I'm coming, Mum. The day Henry met a baseball bat. <laughs> Hello, baseball bat. Hey, how are you doing, Henry? I'm good, thanks, baseball bat. How are you doing? I'm as happy as a hot dog in a bun, Henry. Every day I get to hang out on the sports field and practice the greatest sport in the world, baseball. I've never played baseball before. That's easy, Henry, kid. You get a bat, you get a ball, you hit it out of the park, bada bing, bada boom, crowd go wild, piece of cake. Well, actually, it's not quite as simple as that. Here we have a picture of a baseball field. The ball is thrown towards the batter's plate. The batter hits the ball. And if they run around all the bases in one go, it's called a home run. Would if I catch the ball before it bounces, you're out of here! Woohoo! Whoa! Great shot, baseball bat! You must have so much fun playing on the sports field all day. I sure do, Henry kid. But gee whiz, there's one thing I've always wanted to do, but I've never had the chance. What's that, baseball bat? Is it to wear a giant foam hand? Is it to do a Mexican wave? Is it to eat the biggest hot dog in the entire universe? Even better than all those, Henry. I've always wanted to play in a real baseball stadium, hit a home run, and win a world championship. Why don't you give it a try? I'd love to, Henry, but I'd need a professional baseball player to play in a real baseball stadium. Oh, if only there was one around. That gives me a great idea, baseball bat.
I could become a baseball player, and we could play in a real baseball stadium together. That's a great idea, Henry. What a beautiful day for a ball game. Stepping, Stepping up to the plate for the first time, Henry and baseball fans. <laughs> okay, Henry kid, you get three chances to hit the ball. Ready, baseball butts? Ready, Henry. Yeah. Strike one! Whoa, what, what a, a zinger. zinger! That was a real humdinger, but don't beat yourself up, Henry. We still have two balls left. <laughs> Strike two! All right, concentrate, Henry. This is our last ball. We'll do, baseball bat. We'll do. So close, close, but, but yet, yet so, so far. Oh no, baseball bat! Does that mean I'm out of the game? No, Henry, don't worry. There are eight more innings left. We're only getting started. Okay, baseball bat, let's play ball! Scores are tied and it's the bottom of the ninth as Henry and Baseball Bat step back up to the plate. This is our last chance, Henry. It's the last ball of the game. Make it count, kid. Okay, Baseball Bat. Let's give it our best shot. Yeah! Here it comes, Henry. Yeah! Run, Henry, run! Hello, first base. Hello, second base. Hello, third base. Hello, Henry. Yeah. Quick, Henry kid. You have to get to home base before the ball does. Slide, Henry. Slide. Safe. Home run, home run. What a ball game. You got some heart, Henry kid. We played in a real baseball stadium. We won the world championship. And we hit the best home run ever. I couldn't have done it without all your help, Baseball Bats. Now, who wants a hot dog? Yay! Hey, Henry met a Baseball Bat. He laughed along with everyone. And hey, Henry met a Baseball Bat. He made lots of friends and had so much fun. Henry! That's my mum calling me Baseball Bats. I best be off. It was really nice meeting you. The pleasure was all mine, Henry kid. And thanks for helping me hit a home run and win the world championship. You're welcome. Have a nice day. See you later, Henry. Bye-bye. I'm coming, Mom. <laughs> <laughs>